Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Log Horizon Season 1, Episode 9, and last episode. <sighs> they had a meeting with um, these merchant guilds or whatever, and then they got him to provide the money that Firoe needed for the plan that he has in mind, or whatever. And now he is meeting with other guild masters right there's this round table and they're about to have this meeting and i'm like okay now let's see what that meeting is about and what the whole plan has been about like i'm really excited for that so yeah that's what happened last episode and before we get into this one if you guys have a reaction please give it a thumbs up or subscribe and please consider supporting me on patreon at patreon.com slash for and now let's start this episode thank you we go Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Okay. Okay. Come back, girls. D D D. Silver sword. Are they all else? They look like they're elves. <laughs> they manipulated him so much. So for a girl. Four. Like oh, you just started. Oh my goodness. I just now realized that the they're actually singing in English. Until they're not. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. No, it was just translated into English. I don't know. That our best, that our best, we're still winning, that our best. Whoa. Round table conference. Oh. So that's why he asked them to come. I thought he was there just to, I don't know, help with the stand. He's like, son. Massachusetts. <laughs> okay. Rusty. We're stuck. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. They probably are doing something. Wait. Hey. Isn't that the girl from the intro that I said that they were probably gonna join the thing? Uh local horizon. Mm-hmm. Is he suspecting something? I feel like I need to get the glasses, man.
see. I need glasses. I need glasses. Do you want to run? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, what was the name? Brigandia. Demikas. Well, shut up. Okay, why are you pausing now? Mm. Oh, so that's what he needed the money for? Well, they were surprised, I don't know, whatever. And why is that a big deal? Why is that a big deal? It must be a big deal because the way they are acting like. Mm -hmm. Let's play. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, bruh. So they have to go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what's that? Okay, that's good. Okay, run. Oh yeah, even though he can't do spells, he can still fight, right? Oh no 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 We have our brother over there. Yeah, you, you don't know. Wow, well, in your face. Yep. <laughs> Did I get some guild master? Uh. Schrider? Oh, did he used to be in a wheelchair? Mm. 
Mary. You can't go in. You don't have the right to go in, right? <laughs> you guys are safe. Shorter. Oh. So he's Shorter. So how? Oh, Sojiro. <sighs> I thought they couldn't get in there. Where's Akaski? Akaski? Where, 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 where are you, girl? Like she's in the guild hall, right? <laughs> oh, so that's what she was doing when she was looking at those people, like trying to get who they are and their names and everything. <sighs> How is that a proposal? He was already going to do that, wasn't he? this episode so much oh my goodness like i've been wondering what is this plan that he has like he's he said that he wanted to make akiba a better city or whatever for all the people and then he's like okay we need a lot of money but that's not the like the hardest part of the plan or something or other okay, like, okay what do we need all the money for and he was able to get the money last episode and then they had this he was planning this round table thingy and I'm like, okay, now what is gonna happen? <laughs> and what happened was awesome. Oh my goodness. He wanted the money so he can buy the guild building. Which <laughs> that gives me gives him so much power in Akiba. Cause you can create or join a guild or something we could create a guild like without going there and then you have the all people's people's money are there like in the bank so if he decided you're not gonna get your money <laughs> oh my gosh that is so amazing that is so well thought out ah gosh gosh, gosh. and because he owns that building he can like uh, the settings he can make people like well, I feel like I already mentioned it like he has control over the settings of the guild building so anyone that he doesn't want to come can come anyone that he wants to can like it's just such <sighs> so easy. like he used that guild building as a safe haven for um, Inori and Toya and all the other new players that were in Hamlin you know, he told them that to just start running there to the guild building. I mean, they open a door and then the door will lead to the guild building. I don't know how that happened, but like, whatever. Like when they opened the door and then they went in there, that's, that's it. They're in the guild building. Oh, uh, shoot. I can see my eye. And because they're in there, um, Akaski had her eyes on those people right so they showed her looking at um people, someone from the Hamley guild i guess meeting with somebody else about to sell that person something or other so that's what she was doing she was looking at like trying to see who ever was in the guild hamlin guild and putting them on the no enter 
list, I guess, for the guild building. But then he she missed one person who was, I, I believe he's the master of the Hamlin Guild, the Trider. Uh, he, he said that his name feels him because his face looks like he's been through a shredder or something. I oh, don't know, that's funny. Like, she didn't put him on the guild. So that's why when Minori and Toya went in there, and I thought they were safe, but actually they weren't because that guy came in and then he's like, um, I, I think, no, I might be wrong. I was about to say, that I think he may um, a little bit confused because when the guy came in and then he was holding on to Toya and then he's like this is a like this is not real like he made it seem like where they were is a no combat zone but what he was doing was not really combat you know so that's why he could still hold on to him but if that place right there was not a no was a no combat zone then would, would um akatsuki when she came in for to help them she was fighting wasn't she i don't know i'm confused about that but the thing is the guy was not on the list or the no enter zone list so she they put him on the list oh she would probably put him on the list while he was in the meeting and yeah that was it he disappeared and reappeared back in, um, uh, I believe it was the cathedral because that's where um, Nausubu was. <sighs> Love it. And during the round table itself, <sighs> she really invited all these combat guilds, these support guilds, and merchant guilds or something, Crafty crafting guilds. I don't know. He invited all these guilds. And then the the one guild guys like I, I don't care about the state of the city so I'm out. But then the other stayed and then they were listening to what Shirui had to say and Shirui was like we need laws in this city. We need to like help people accountable for their actions, like laws that can bind people together. And then he mentioned the fact that he, when he was in Susu Kino, I think was it called. Uh, there was that girl, Brigandia, with Demikas, you know, that was trying to take control of, over the city and everything. And they can't let that happen here. And then he's like, I think one, I think it was Krusty, DDD's um, captain, whatever. I think he was like, so how do you intend to keep people from, I don't know, how do you intend to make them follow the rules? Like if someone doesn't want to follow our rules, how do you intend to stop them or whatever? And it's like, then we, we're going to have to fight them. Or we're going to have to banish them or something. Like, how, how are you going to do that? How are you going to banish people? <laughs> he can banish you. I'm not. Oh. Just the fact that he has control over... Oh yeah, and as I was watching it, like when he said that he had control over the like the guild building and all that gave him access to and everything, I'm like awesome. But then they said that the transport s s something doesn't work. Like there are banks all over in each city, I believe, and there, there are these transport things that can transport you from one city to the other, so you can go to the other bank in the other city and get your money or whatever. But their transport thing is not working. What if somebody gets the transport thing to start working again? Then that the banking thing, he's gonna lose control over that, right? I mean, if you want to create it or join a guild or whatever, you still have to go to the guild building. So I guess that's something at least. But the fact that you have control over people's money, that I feel like that's the bigger thing. <laughs> And if that transport thing starts working by some miracle, like, isn't that gonna be a bad thing? But either way, he has control as of now. So, yeah. If you wanna access your money, then you're gonna have to listen to him. And you're gonna have to do what he says. And they were like, isn't that blackmail? Then he turned it around on them. Because when that other dude, or Isaac, mentioned the fact that. 
I don't quite so he mentioned him with some some kind of war thingy. And he just turned it around on him. So I'm like, yay. I love this. Love this episode so much. Now to see how the conference is gonna end. I feel like that dude that was like, I don't really care about that if the building the building, the meeting in the meet in the first place. I feel like he's gonna regret it. <laughs> he's gonna regret it sooner or later. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see this episode right now you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash and you can also see the full life of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.